Good morning. Welcome. Already tried to make this video, not yesterday, the day before, and we turned up and basically we were too late. So we're trying again a lot earlier. We are going to try some Nonya cuisine, specifically Nonya, Nonya business. The Nonya Quay, Quay. It wasn't wrong about the 9 a.m. It is busy. Oops. I got a plate there to choose something away or you want a basket? Oh, something warm. Don't you try something warm? to describe what that like sticky texture is like because I feel like a lot of people in the UK have probably never had it but like imagine like a steamed dumpling but thicker skin it's great mm. can't complain uh, what do we try next right so on day on day we bought some ice cream in Kuala Lumpur and it was called on day on day and we really enjoyed it so we've never actually tried real on day on day a soft equal weighted and warm. Are you ready to try an undé undé? Under under? Oh, oh it's watery. Oh yeah. Oh that's watery. And what are these like little sesame seeds on top? I wonder if that's normal. Oh wow. It's really soft. It's good enough. It's like a little warm sweet explosion in there. Let's try one more thing. Should we try these? Because I remember these not being that sweet. I feel like maybe it was like mung bean filling or something. It's dissect. Green on the inside. Oh, okay. Is it, it's, a, it's an interesting flaky texture. Yeah, not as sweet. Not as sweet? No. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Outside is nice. But the inside kind of tastes like dirt. Do you think? Is dirt the right word? Oh, yeah. Should we leave it there then? We'll leave it there for the trying of the sweets and then we'll probably try some more later on. Anyway, I'll leave the names of everything on the screen. <laughs> They're so sweet. Twenty? Twenty fifty. Wow. For all of those sweets. Oh, I feel high on sugar. Uh, you can pay by card, which is kind of cool. But now we're just going to quickly go for a walk to the supermarket and then we'll see you again to try the rest of the food. <laughs> these public toilets like there's quite a few i know a lot of malaysians well actually i know a lot of people don't like to walk particularly in malaysia because obviously it's blooming hot when we walk it it's like oh yeah but like the reason we love to walk is one health 
but two, you get to see things you wouldn't observe properly if you were in a car or like sometimes you go down different places where a car can't, doesn't go. So I just encourage you to walk where you can. If it's just 10 minutes or whatever, you just should, like you just see so much more and just at a, a lot slower pace. Also, this is gonna sound like really potentially stupid of me, but I'm always interested, what do people in other countries, what do their houses look like? And I don't just mean like Western to Asia, I mean like, literally other countries or even within countries like I always imagine to myself what does someone's house in France look like but just because there's certain like the small differences in cultures that change like, the way people live and what's important to them and I had literally no idea what to picture for Malaysia and being lucky enough to have spent some time in Malaysian people's houses the thing that's cool is it differs because you've got like the Indian Malay the Chinese Malay the Malay Malay like Wow. And then even within that, like obviously the different wealth brackets and to what people choose to do with their money and build the house to make it look like. It's kind of like English almost with the balcony and the pillars. Yeah, it's um, always like so interesting. And then from the old to the new. Thank you. So it's now quarter to two. We've been working for about three hours and we are just gonna go out and get some coffee, which is quite late for us. That's the way the world works sometimes. We're trying out a new coffee shop, as there's so many nice ones to choose from around here. Let's we'll see what it's like. Oh, bye Harry. Happy. <sighs> So recently we've we've been trying out all of the coffee shops around here and they're like so nice each with a very unique vibe let's say <laughs> all serving good coffee that's usually relatively cheap but that one did let us down today very aesthetic but just no no vibe no soul to the place yeah but that's okay served a purpose we're now heading back to doing a bit more work we're thinking we're gonna head into the city and do the river walk at night and then at some point we're gonna sit down and try a few more of these kwe kwe Still don't know. I've started editing this video already and because I'm watching us eat, it's like making me hungry, which is probably a good thing to make sure we do get to try them while they're still relatively fresh. I really fancy one of the pancakes. Do you definitely want to try the pancake or do you want to try one of our other little goodies? Ah, go on then. Give us what you got. Give us your best shot. I just don't know what they are. That's the only issue. Oh, let's try this thing, this. Let's try these two. A layer cake and something ricey. We only have plate bowls. What do you want to start with, Harry? Layer cake or rice? Layer cake. God, it's like jelly. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I, I quite enjoy that. The after texture of that one. Come try it on camera. If I Bloody well must. Is it rye? Rye? Rye. That looks jelly like. Yeah, try it. Bit sticky there, did you see that? Oh, I see. Hmm. A little bit jelly sugar. So this one, this blue one. Oh wow, that's an interesting texture. Try the blue. Mm. Try it. I think I prefer this. I think the thing that I'm learning today, and actually I kind of already knew, is that like the sweets aren't that sweet. Like in England we have like fudge, which is literally just full of sugar. And obviously there's like a lot of sugar in these, but like making it with the rice and the coconut, like it's not purely sweet like that uh, blue one. It was kind of like a little bit salty as well. It was different. Anyway, so these pancakes, the green is coloured from pandan colouring. And then the inside is coconut and sugar, like shredded coconut and sugar. And they are 
delicious. But let's see what these ones are like. Because we've, we've had them in several different places now. Oh, so that looks like a good ratio. It was a big filling, isn't it? Mm, good ratio, I reckon. So I actually think I prefer more pancake. I, however, prefer more of the coconut filling, I reckon. But let's try it. Oh, this one is very sweet. Almost needs a little bit of salt in it. <clears throat> and that concludes this segment. We've still got three other things to try. And by the end of today, I think we're going to have diabetes. So we've decided actually we are not going to go for the walk in the city just because it's kind of late now and... We'll be in bed by nine. No, we need to not be in bed by nine. Tomorrow both Harry and I have calls late in the evening. So we need to like try and make ourselves awake. Anyway, so we're actually going to have a little walk around our neighbourhood. Uh, and walk that way down to like where they're building this big building. I'm not actually sure what it's going to be. Our uncultured, uneducated guess is a mosque, but it's very modern. So is it like we only think that because of the dome? So maybe it's just somewhere with that's the prayer place, or I don't know. Are we really stupid and is that offensive? I'm really sure if it is. But we can see it being built from our view, and then also there's like lots of like sand things and boats and things going on down towards the shoreline. So we're gonna have a stroll, see what we can find. Wow, look at that big glass bit on that one. Yeah, so dark. What's the purpose of that? And then the blue... Uh, I know who lives in there. The person who sings, uh -huh. I'm blue, da da da. <laughs> so they haven't got a blue car, they've got a brown car. The glass, the windows are blue, the walls so are blue. interesting, but yeah. Wall is a, uh, three different blues. It is massive, isn't it? Oh, the, the back window's open. Should we sneak in and have a look? There's a doggy. It's a bit of a loose cannon, that one. Anyway, so we're gonna have an explore, see what we can find. We've found a beach. Oh, a lot of litter on the beach. That's sad. Yeah, Europe's very big on plastic and I'm always shocked when we get plastic cup, plastic straw, plastic wrapping. That's where it ends up, guys. It's so refreshing to be out in a cooler temperature and exploring. That is such an underrated factor about Malaysia. It's so blooming hot. It's such a nice place for sunset though. A peaceful walk like that, like not, not amongst buildings, not amongst too many people, really does give that like sense of homeliness. So it's not quite the, the river walk, but I'm sure, well, we will do that at some point, and I'm sure everybody knows what that is. But this has just been a different little walk, which I'm sure we'll do many a time before we leave, I reckon. And the video here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. No idea what we're doing, but yeah. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our interpretation of some nonya kwe or kwe. I'm not sure how it's said. Might not even be said. Nonya! It.